I've had some people reach out to me recently asking me about stoicism. I'm flattered and surprised that they are asking me about it because, frankly, what I am and what I do, I don't consider textbook stoicism, as it were. I don't even know if I would call it stoicism at all. I'm just doing me. I think I've got Marcus Aurelius's meditation somewhere. I think I have it on my Kindle. I think I've even read bits of it here and here, here and there. Honestly, I don't remember and I don't really care. Uh, beating off to dead philosophers has never really been my gig. There's a world of experience to be had with the living that I would rather do than read philosophy. My brand of stoicism would be ZFG, zero fucks given. I don't give a fuck what you think for the most part, and I don't give a fuck if you do or don't give a fuck about that. I do me. That's what I do. How did I get here, though? Maybe that's the question I'm being asked, even if not in those words. Two major things happened that got me here. One, my mother died. Two, a relationship that I had that I didn't want to end and was terrified that it would end, ended. Both happened within two weeks of each other. Back-to-back -back blows. And I'm still here. I'm still walking, living, and breathing. I'm still standing. I've survived. I survived it. I went through a period of grief and mourning for both deaths, and then I got on with living, as if there's another alternative. If I've survived that, I believe I can survive anything. I gave up my fear, and for more on that, you should have signed up for the Masculine Geek newsletter. I talked about it there. I gave up my expectations of outcomes and was willing to see what would show up. I let go of disappointment for the most part. I made a choice to enjoy my life, and I know that good times and bad times happen. I know that women will walk into my life and that they will also walk out of it too, or I'll walk out of theirs. Either way, there's always another. I realize that nobody gives a shit what I do or what I think, and that's one of the most liberating things that has happened to me. Since nobody gives a shit, I can pretty much do whatever I want. I know I'm not for everybody. I know I'm not everybody's cup of tea. Nor are they mine. And that's totally okay. I don't try to keep people in my life. I don't try and hold them back from whatever it is that they seek. They are welcome to be around me for as long as they like or as long as I like. When they go, that's okay. Others will show up to take their place eventually. I'll remember them, and I choose to enjoy their company for the time that we share our lives in whatever form. I learn from them, and I imagine that they learn from me, too. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. That part, well, that's on them. I gave up arguing with people, especially random motherfuckers on the internet. What a total waste of time and error. They get to burn, just like I got to burn, just like I'm positive that I'll set myself on fire and burn again. I learned to vote with my attention as well as with my wallet. I only give attention and money to those things and people that I happen to care about. Otherwise, fuck them. I'm okay with being the villain. I know for a fact that I've covered all of this before in other videos and in other posts. So why am I going over it again? 
because people asked, and I'm trying the best way I can to describe my mental and emotional state, I guess. In some ways, all of how I got here took many experiences and a lot of time. And at the same time, it literally feels like one day I woke up and here I was. Poof! Just like that. I really have to thank Ryan Stone. That man popped my outrage bubble for me. I can't control the bullshit that is against men, even though men aren't the target audience. At least not my demographic. That was a huge vote with your attention moment for me. Huge. Ryan, if you ever end up watching this, thank you. And if you ever get to Salt Lake City, Utah, the drinks are on me. I'm going to sound like I'm going off topic here, but bear with me. I promise I'm not. Why do we lie about ourselves and to each other? Why do we lie to ourselves and each other? It's a rhetorical question. I believe at least one answer is because we are afraid of losing something. We lie to women because we don't want to lose them as an option. We lie to them in order to get the pussy, to get laid. We lie because we get lonely. And women lie to us for similar reasons. We lie to ourselves because we put expectations on ourselves that we haven't met. We don't want to be losers. We don't want to be seen as losers. We still care what other people think of us. We still give a fuck. When you stop giving a fuck, you can be honest with yourself and with others. I'm not advocating intentional rudeness and being a douche or a sadistic prick. But when you are honest, you can become a breath of fresh air for yourself and for others. That's the only way I can describe it. You let down your guard and they let theirs down too. That's been my experience anyways. Don't be naive and don't eat paint, as Ryan would say, but you get the idea. At least I hope you do. I'm honest with the women that I meet and interact with. I know what I want. The question is, is it something that they want? If yes, great. Let's do this. If not, no big deal. Thank you for your time. I enjoyed our moment, and it was a pleasure meeting you. And then I move on. Guys, I'm here to live. I don't have time for your morality crusade if that's what you're on. I don't give a fuck about that. I want to live every moment to the hilt. I live in the present, and I don't dwell on the past. The past is the past. You can't change it, undo it, or rewrite it, so fuck it. Let it go. I don't worry too much about the future, either. Men plan, and God laughs. I have ideas of where I want to go, what I want to see, and what I want to do, But I'm flexible enough to adapt as the situation warrants. And if it doesn't work out the way that I envisioned, fuck it. There's always another opportunity. Or maybe, just maybe, it worked out even better than I had thought it would. Wrap your heads around that one. I keep moving ever forward. I keep on keeping on. I learn to get out of my head and into my body. I stopped overanalyzing every little thing. I stopped overthinking things. Sometimes there is no hidden meaning there for you to discover. Sometimes the only meaning for something is whatever meaning you choose to give it. Sometimes things are only important because you give a fuck and make them important. The rest of the world doesn't give a shit, so keep that in mind. It's kind of difficult for me to talk about this subject because it requires me to give it a lot of thought and I'm used to just doing it. 
I guess I've internalized it or whatever. I'm tired of rambling, so I'm going to wrap it up with this. Good times and bad times come and go. Women come and go. Nobody gives a shit, so neither should you. Stop being afraid of yourself and others. Start pushing the envelope and see what happens. You'll find out more often than not that people will go along with whatever it is that you are doing or wanting to do. Be honest with yourself about what you want. Ideally, be honest with others about it too. They can't actually use it against you as a weapon if you do. And if they do, you'll survive. You'll still find yourself standing. If you do fall on your ass though, or get put on your ass, get back up and keep going. Guys, for the record, this isn't despair or nihilism. This is life. It is what it is. You can choose to enjoy it, or you can be miserable in it. It's up to you. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time to watch this. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell so you'll know when I'm on next. And share this with someone that you think would get some benefit from it. I'll talk to you next time.